Hello, welcome to Miniature Realms. My name is Stuart, and welcome to another short review video. So, and welcome to another um, Epic Battles Waterloo campaign video as well. So, Warlord Games have very kindly sent me ahead of their release date some French Middle and Old Guard, and these are due to be released in April. No fixed date yet, as far as I know. And they, they will be released alongside the Highlanders, which I reviewed recently as well. So, if you uh, haven't seen that video, do check out the other videos. On on the channel related to the Epic Battles Waterloo releases. There's lots of them if this is your bag. Um, but let's head over and have a look at um, the website and just sort of see what you get in the box and then I'll have a little closer look at the frame itself. So here we are on the Warlord Games website and this is what you can pre-order at the moment and it just illustrates it a little bit rather than just the frame to start with for those of you who aren't familiar with it and aren't following these releases. Um, so you get a box with three frames in the box um, of a French middle and old guard and you can make either of these regiments out of this box set itself. If I uh, click on the images you'll get a, a slightly better idea. So there's a picture of what you can build from the box. So you get enough to build three 80 man regiments, four stands to each regiment, two strips of 10 to each stand. Um, and then you also get some little extras here as well. So you get the standard three brigade commanders and you get one on each of the frames and you get three 12 pounders, which is something we haven't had before as well. And then you get some engineers of the guard and some marines of the guard and you get a strip of each on each sprue. So technically with one single box, um, you can only make a stand of each with one strip um, of each extra left over. We'll cover those a little bit more um, as I review the frame. That's just a shot of them from the back. Um, you do get some extra heads on the sprue as well, which enable you to swap a few heads over um, to maybe represent the middle guard at uh, Waterloo. So at the 100 Days campaign, they couldn't all get the Busby hats in time. So there was a bit more of a mixture of shakos and, and, and old sort of forage caps and, and even bicorns and things as well. So it's a little bit more mixed up. You get a standard French um, flag sheet, which you get in, in all, of, all of their uh, infantry boxes, including their starter boxes as well. And there's an official image of the sprue and an idea of what paints you may want to use for them. So the, the recommended retail price is £25. I think from the third party retailers, you, often, you can see them sort of um, around the £20 mark, maybe a pound or so each way on that. Um, and then it, here you've got the contents which just repeats what I've just, which what I've just told you already. So let's go back and have a little closer look at the frame. So here we are back with the frame and we'll just take a little bit of a closer look at it and I'll, I'll talk you through the, the relevant parts and, um, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. And here we are zoomed into the sprue so we can have a little closer look. Now the sprue follows the same format as, as all of the others. You have a piece of artillery and a commander, an officer, a brigadier in this case, on each sprue as well as your regiment and a few little extras. So your brigadier is a guard um, officer, so it looks different, it's a different sculpt than you get from your standard French infantry. You've got a 12 pounder gun, um, which is the first one, um, rather than the six we've seen before. And you've got um, guard um, crew as well. So they are, are different sculpts and, and, and very nice they are too. And then you have your standard strips. Now there's slight differences in a number of these. I'd have to look very, very closely to work out which is what. They, they look like they're the same, but when you look really, really close, you, you can see there are subtle variations. I'm not quite sure how many there are. I probably need to trim them off the sprue and match them up to do that. But there's usually two or three different variations. Um, sometimes flank companies and things like that. I'm not sure that's gonna, whether they've done that here. And I don't want to make the video too long while I look at each individual man um, for ages and ages and ages. But the sculpts are looking pretty crisp and, and clean, well in line with the, the quality of the, the, the other sprues in the infantry sprues that are in the release so far. Here's your command strip with your eagle and your officer and your drummer, etc. Um, but very nice. So I'm gonna swap the sprue around now so we can look at the other side. Um, and then you've got your remaining strips here of your guard to make up your guard regiment. Um, and the idea is that these can be middle or old guard. If you do middle guard, you would not paint the 
the emblem on the front, the plate, um, so that wouldn't be there on the middle guard. Um, and then you've also got those extra heads, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a moment. Um, let's first of all let's let's cover off the the last little extra bit is is these two things here. So we got the marines of the guard and the engineers of the guard, and these are really interesting choice. Uh, a few people maybe scratched their heads when these were announced. Um, it's very much keeping the theme with Waterloo, which is what this release is about. It's not about creating British and French armies in general. It's about creating allied and French armies during the Hundred Days campaign. Um, and it was noted that uh, the engineers and marines were both present. Now, there's, there's not many of them, though. Um, I've been doing a tiny bit of reading around them and uh, you, I think there was only maybe three, four hundred engineers of the guard in service around the time so that you know, we were talking a, a very small, you know, we were talking a small regiment of those and then the, the Marines, I think it was only about 150, so you'd be looking at a, at a tiny unit so you wouldn't necessarily need many. Now you get three sprues in this box and then you get a strip of each, which means that one box on its own is only going to make you one and a half stands of each, which is a little bit strange, I think, in some ways. Um, I, I can understand why they've done it to give you some more variety. Um, whether it could have the space on the sprue could have been better used, I, I don't know. I quite, I'm torn. I, I really like the variety and having those extra models. I do wonder where a lot of people aren't going to use them. Um, it'd be really interesting to see where people think they'll be, they'll be good to be painted in a different way and used as something else completely. Um, I've heard some people talking about some Berivians used in the peninsula for, the, for these ones. I honestly don't know. Um, and I'm not an expert enough on the French army to, to, to know what their uniforms could be used for, for some of these other states. My interest in Napoleonic Wars has very has been very peninsular war focused over the years, so I'm learning a lot at the moment. But um, if you have ideas of other units that these could be used for, please do put in the comments, I'll be very, very interested. I suppose the challenge there is how many boxes of guard would you need to buy in, in order to get a reasonable amount of these. On the flip side of that, there may be a lot of people not using these, are happy to sell them and maybe we'll find them available on eBay and hopefully not too much money. Sculpt wise, they're great. Thematic wise, it's great to have them on there. How useful they are, I don't know. But maybe they don't need to be. You've got your regiments. That's what the box does. You've got your your three regiments in the box for you for the money you pay, and and, and that's just a, a little extra. The other part I really want to talk about is the extra heads that were advertised on the box um, and talked about on the website. Um, and I'm quite impressed with the way they've done them. So I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit closer. We can have a little closer look. And the first thing I I, I noticed, which I really like, is that they come with the the gun as well. They come with the musket attached to the head. I know a few people have done head swaps. I have myself, um, but I've not done it on any standard line troops. But I have heard that when people have swapped them over for other heads, that they've accidentally chopped off the, the gun. And this solves that. I really like that. It makes it means it's something bigger to hold while you're gluing it on in place as well. And with plastic glue, this should be a pretty easy change to make if you've got a sharp knife um, to cut away and replace with those. So that's fantastic. I really like that. And I like the fact that the gun's attached. I wouldn't have thought of that. I would have thought, well, how are we gonna you know, gently cut away the gun from the head? That's the first thing. Um, the second thing is there's only four on each sprue. Um, and I've got to wonder whether they could have done a little bit more there. Um, I suppose maybe if you're with your single box, you're making three regiments, maybe you want to make two old guard and one one middle guard regiment and then you've got um, 12 different heads to mix in within your four stands of your one middle guard but I do feel that they fit quite nicely here they could have maybe just repeated those and, and added those to the other gaps on the sprue I'm pointing out there that would be my criticism of that only is that why only give give four at least fill the gaps and and, and and have one so at least one could go on each strip so to speak but other than that I really like what they've done it's nice to have the option um, it's a really nice little touch um, and maybe we'll see them in a different way I'd love to see if anyone from World Games is watching this I'd love to see these be available in maybe a metal um, just as a little extra, I know that metal command strips were available for the American Civil War release. Maybe just a, a batch of heads. I appreciate they're small. People might not want to be, buy, and it might be hard to cast because they're so small. Um, but um, 
I, you know, if it was something you could do, I'd be interested. And for that matter, if you could do it for these, could you do the same thing for British infantry and produce some stovepipe shakos, metal stovepipe shako, shako with a, with your musket there, um, sell them in packs of twenty or something like that, or even more. Um, in casting metal, I'd definitely be well, sell them in packs of eighty would be good. I'd definitely be buying packs and, and converting whole regiments to uh, to a more peninsula themed or just some of the light units that were at Waterloo that still had that. But anyway, that's 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 by the by really, but I, I do like what they've done. Um, I think they could probably have done a little bit more and, and, and have at least filled in the remaining six gaps on the frame. So there was at least 10 extra heads per frame. So a quick look at the backs of the miniatures as I give you my final thoughts really. Um, overall, I'm incredibly impressed with the detail on these miniatures. Um, but like I said in my previous reviews, I am a fan of this release. This isn't for everyone. Um, some people aren't a fan of the strips. They prefer different manufacturers in, in true 15 mil or something. What attracts me is the whole look of Epic Scale and the way it works as a strip and the way that it makes a regiment just look like lots and lots of men on the table and, and that's what attracts me to the game so I think if, if you like that um, you'll like these if, you, if you're not into that and you prefer something that's uh, that's a hundred percent accurate etc in every other way then you may prefer more traditional sort of 15 or 18 mil models but I'm a big fan of it these for me follow along with the, you know the rest of the release um, uh, and it's fantastic I'm, I'm really excited I'm looking forward to working on these I've got a lot to do um, it's going to be a long long project these aren't small projects these with with mass rank troops comes masses of painting um, but I think they've done a pretty good job of these really interested to see your comments below what you guys think of it especially the the extra heads and things um and um i'm looking forward to bringing you more epic battles waterloo stroke napoleonic videos soon so thanks very much for watching if you haven't subscribed already please consider that maybe give the video a like and i'll catch you all soon